Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see who's coming toward you when it comes to love. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Alright, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for who is coming toward you, we have business, round and round. We also have the Ace of Cups in reverse. And we have the Empress in reverse. All right. So when it comes to who's coming toward you, there's someone that wants you to take them seriously. Or they want you to feel as though they mean business this time around. I feel like this is someone that's not applying the lessons that they've learned from this connection. They're unable to let go of you or they're unable to let go of the past. So this is someone that feels as though the two of you don't have closure. They want to repeat an old love story with you, but... For a lot of you, I feel like you don't feel the same way about this person anymore. Some of you have lost attraction for them. For others of you, I just feel like this is someone that doesn't have very much to offer you. They're coming in with an empty offer, so they're not emotionally available. This is also someone that may be emotionally dysfunctional. They're coming off as very draining, so make sure that you keep your guard up. But they want you to be flexible, okay, with the fluidity card being at the bottom of the deck. They want you to keep an open mind and go with the flow, but it's going to be very important for you to apply the lessons that you've learned when it comes to this person because I feel like they're feeling this strong urge to come toward you because of Mercury Retrograde. Also, this isn't for everyone. Take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. For some of you, there's either someone that you work with or if you own your own business, there could be a client that has feelings for you. Spirit is warning you about mixing business with pleasure. Okay, be careful about that. Also, for some of you, make sure that you are balancing your work life because for some of you, I feel as though you could be running on empty if that's not currently, that could happen soon or you'll start to feel drained with work. So just make sure that you're balancing your work life. I do see a lot of you earning more money, okay, or making moves within your career, leveling up. But yeah, when it comes to this person coming toward you, someone wants to smother you or they want you to feel smothered. There's very little growth with this person and I feel like it's a distorted feminine or a distorted masculine. This is someone that's very insecure. They do not operate out of their higher self. So yeah, when it comes to who's coming toward you with the five of swords being here, someone may come toward you argumentative. This is someone that may start conflict. They have animosity toward you because they feel as though you're holding back. Huh. Make sure that... um you remain grounded. Don't give anything or anyone your attention that's bringing conflict into your life. For some of you, it could even be conflict at work. Take that if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. Whatever conflict that comes your way, I see you being victorious. So I see you winning in the end, but it's going to be very important for you not to give people your energy. With the King of Cups being in reverse, see, there's someone coming toward you that's emotionally manipulative. They're going to come in because they're motivated by their feelings. And also, they feel as though you are leaving them behind, like you're moving on to the next level of your life. They feel like you've closed out a cycle with them, and that has them in their feelings. I do feel like they're going to come in with an offer, but there are strings attached to it. And what may be attached is this person not being emotionally available. Um, they're very insensitive to your needs. I feel like this is someone that could be selfish. If this person left you in the past, or even if you left them, I feel like they've been lost ever since. They may have started dating others or dating another person to try and fill a void, but they're dissatisfied with that connection. So I see them coming back toward you with the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, this is someone that will want you to fully embrace them. It's like they'll want you to forget completely about the past. They may even come in expressing emotion. Hmm. But yeah, with the sun card being in reverse, I feel like this is someone that whenever you're dealing with them, I feel like 
you don't know where you stand or you're not as positive. This could be someone that's mildly depressed. It's like they just want you to see the good things. They want you to ignore any anything negative in regards to them. But I feel like you know more than you need to know in regards to this person. Like they've exposed themselves. So you know exactly who you're dealing with. But I feel like they want you to force optimism upon this connection. It's going to be very important for you to remain clear-headed. So yeah. Um, if you notice, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups in reverse. So you're emotionally available, but this person is not. You're coming off as very empathetic, very compassionate, very supportive. You have a very kind, loving energy about you and you're extremely intuitive. But this is someone that I feel as though they'll take advantage of your positive characteristics They'll use your nurturing energy against you. Okay. I don't like that type of energy. They also have a tendency to blame others. So for a lot of you, they may try to come in blaming you in regards to why things didn't work. I feel like a lot of you are tired of dealing with this person. You're wondering what's next or you're looking forward to the next phase of your life while this person is stuck on you. So for a lot of you, that's why they keep coming out in your readings. Even if you're not thinking about them, they're in your energy. So unfortunately, they're going to come out at times. So let's see what else comes out here. Give me more, please, Holy Spirit. Who is coming toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? Who is coming toward my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. And for some of you, this is specific. Take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. A lot of you are leveling up when it comes to your success and when it comes to your career. And there's a person in particular that always comes around when you're doing better, especially within your career. So keep that in mind. Um, this is someone that could block your creativity, meaning you won't be as focused on work as you usually are if you start to entertain this person. So yeah, it's like whenever you're doing good for yourself, they try to weasel their way back in. So keep that in mind. I feel like this person could affect your work. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. So let's see what else comes out here. All right, so we have good health. All right, so when it comes to a lot of you, I see your health getting better. It's going to be very important, again, for you to balance your work and your personal life. That's been coming out a lot in the readings. At the bottom of the deck, we have the past. So a lot of you are good on the past. I feel like if you've released the past, you're doing better mentally, physically, spiritually. But this past card lets me know that there's going to be a return of past lovers, past friends. For some of you, if you have... Um, if you removed yourself when it comes to family members or if you put them at a distance, I see them trying to come back around as well. Hmm. So give me more. Who's coming toward my viewers when it comes to love? I feel like with this good health card, someone wants you to see them as someone that's doing better. We have dice. Someone wants you to take a risk with them. Okay. So... It's going to be up to you whether you decide to take this risk or not. I'm going to be honest with you. They haven't learned any lessons. The dice card came out crossing. So a lot of you, it's not even a risk. I feel like you know what comes with this person. Give me more. Who is coming toward my viewers? Thank you. So we have potential. All right. So someone wants you to see the potential in having a relationship with them. This is someone that you've taken time off from or they've taken time off from you. A lot of you aren't interested in love at all. You just want to focus on yourself and enjoy life. Hmm. Others of you, like I said, I just see this person coming in wanting you to put in work. 
making it seem as though the two of you can grow together. Make sure that you're investing in things that will pay off or relationships that will pay off. Make sure that you're not indulging or entertaining anyone where you know it's a dead end relationship. Give me more. Who or what is coming for my viewers? Thank you. So we have lightning. See, someone's going to come in out of nowhere. Some of you won't see it coming. I just feel like this person is going to come when you least expect it. At the bottom of the deck, we do have third party. So be careful about people trying to interfere in your business or people that are nosy. Also be careful about people coming toward you that are already invested elsewhere or people that try to put you in love triangles. This third party card is also about being watched. So I feel like there's someone that's watching you very heavily. Um, this isn't for everyone, but for some of you, there's someone that's watching you at work. It could be this person that's interested in you. Just make sure that you stay focused because I see a lot of growth within your work. I see you becoming a lot more stable. If you own your own business, I see things growing very steadily, but it's going to take you to focus on work, but also balancing it at the same time. Give me another card. Who is coming toward my viewers when it comes to love? Thank you. So we have alien. Okay. So whoever this person is, they feel alienated in their life. This is someone that may feel like they don't fit in in the world, okay? Dealing with this person, you would feel like you're dealing with someone foreign, meaning the two of you just are not equally yoked. A lot of you are ready for new experiences, but someone's in this devil energy and they're obsessed with you. This is someone that needs to do a lot of shadow work. They may have um, bad financial habits or they may be very materialistic. Hmm. I just feel like... There's someone that's miserable and you know misery loves company. So this person wants to come in and um, possibly even dump their burdens onto you. Thank you. So we have ghosting. So it's someone that either you ghosted or they ghosted you. This card reads dealing with lack of closure. I was telling you guys in the overall energy that someone feels as though they don't have closure when it comes to you. This is someone that may have made you feel rejected or you rejected them. You may have cut off communication with this person. There may be blocks in communication, but regardless, I feel like this person is going to come back toward you. I feel like one of the risks involved with this person is that they'll end up ghosting you when things don't go their way. Or for some of you, they have a tendency to ghost. So just be careful dealing with them or entertaining them. Hmm. It's like as soon as you it start entertaining this person and you start to get invested into the connection then all of a sudden they'll go cold or they may ghost hmm. all right give me one more card to end the reading who is coming toward my viewers thank you so we have dating and that card came out in reverse so there's someone coming toward you that's not even open to love i feel like they want to make sure that you're not dating anyone else <laughs> With dating coming out in reverse, I feel like this person shouldn't be dating anyone at this point in time. They're not even in the right mindset to be dating. I feel like they just don't want you dating anyone else. Hmm. Oh my goodness. So yeah, there's someone that's coming in very suddenly or they may come in very quickly. For some of you, they may switch up in regards to how they come toward you. But I feel as though for a lot of you, you already know what comes with this person. So if you were to indulge with them, I just feel like they'll end up going cold on you at some point. You may even end up ghosting them. This card fell out delays. So this is someone that's experiencing delays. Like I said, misery loves company. 
if you're wanting things to work with this person, it's going to be very important for you to be patient because this is someone that moves very slowly. Yeah. Also, if you're experiencing any delays, try not to be frustrated by that. It's just going to be very important for you to continue to persevere. Don't give up because any pace is a good pace. Keep that in mind. All right, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.